Toyota just released a new Land Cruiser, the FJ to be exact, and honestly speaking, they might have just killed the competition. By now, you must have heard about it, but we just got a lot of new information from the most famous car magazine located in Japan. Now we know that it'll come with more power than we expected and a platform made to make it one of the best. We just have to imagine how the market responds because it is truly a game changer. We can safely say that it is the best SUV in Toyota's lineup and the whole market, and this new source just confirmed it. So what is really happening? We know a lot about Toyota's plan because of a Japanese magazine that you might have heard before, and they almost never miss any new releases. And what they've revealed is truly amazing. First of all, it's not going to be based on the Corolla Cross platform, contrary to what most expected it to be, even though they have similar dimensions. It's a rugged and reliable ladder frame vehicle, a ladder frame beast that shares the F platform with other awesome models like the new 4Runner, the Land Cruiser J250, the GX, the Tacoma, and almost most of Toyota's flagship trucks and cars. It also has a retro and boxy look that pays homage to the classic Land Cruisers of the 20 and 40 series. And the best part is that it's the most affordable Land Cruiser ever. Plus, even though it's about as big as a Corolla, it's much more fun to drive and handle. Another hot take that they've made is on the name of it. Even though Toyota hasn't announced the name yet, and its name could be different for different countries. That would make sense because even the 250 series Land Cruiser is known as the Prado in other markets like Europe and Australia, and there is already an established name that fits the new one perfectly, like the FJ Cruiser. That is why, until now, everyone's been calling it the Mini Cruiser, but now it seems like they're going for the FJ name. But this is not all they revealed. Watch carefully because we're about to reveal it all, and we're also going to talk about the potential issues this thing might have. Performance the word is that the engine under the hood is a 2TRF. That's the same engine that powered the Tacoma for ages, that reliable four-cylinder, which provides 161 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, paired with a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. Now, this engine might seem like a letdown in terms of numbers, but it is capable. It can tow 3,500 pounds and it has 22 mpg. To be honest, for the base model, this is very well suited. It's got the muscles to be offered as an option. That is why it powers the Tacoma, the Prado, and the Hilux. But there is a huge possibility that there will be different options around the world, a hybrid or a diesel one. In fact, what we know is that there was a plan to do so, but they abandoned it all. Why? Well, on a few of their engines throughout the world, Toyota was cheating on emissions. Some are now speculating that this might be the reason why they paused on their other engine options. Which is very disappointing, because the new FJ was expected to share the same engine options as the RAV, which has a gasoline, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid versions. But from all the sources coming out now, we can expect it to have the same hybrid engine as the Tacoma, which is called the iForce Max, and it combines a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with an electric motor and a battery pack. This hybrid engine produces 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. It offers better fuel efficiency than the TRF, with an EPA estimated 27 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway. Imagine that on a smaller body. It'll make it a nimbler and more affordable version of the legendary Land Cruiser 250, with all the capability and style of the Land Cruiser packed into a compact package that's easy on the wallet. Toyota wants to make this thing the king of its segment when it comes to off-road capability, and that means the same concept will determine the design of this small beast. So let's talk about that now. Design This SUV is ready to take on any challenge. It has the adventurous spirit that drivers crave. It can handle any terrain with ease while still offering the smooth ride and versatility that drivers expect. This blend of toughness and elegance is what sets it apart from the rest of the compact SUVs. It may be small, but it has the same durability and reliability that made its ancestor a legend. Its size, comparable to the trendy Corolla Cross, puts it in the hot market of small adventure vehicles. 
But to really make a splash, this SUV has to offer something extra, and that is exactly what it does. It is ideal for both city slickers and outdoor enthusiasts. Think about it, what more could you ask for from a small SUV like this? It has the muscles, and it will share the same platform design as the bigger 250 series Land Cruiser. And you know how much of a difference that makes. This is what Toyota uses for most of their new models, because it works. It's stronger and firmer. Put that on a small SUV and you have a winner. It stands out from the crowd by having unique off-road capabilities that have earned the Land Cruiser legendary status. Ready to take on the best rivals in the compact off-roader segment, including the Suzuki Jimmy and the Bronco Sport. But don't look for a high-tech display in the interior, because this is a budget-friendly vehicle. We'll talk about the exact price later on because we should take more time and go into the details. But because of its pricing, you should expect a basic-looking interior and knobs and dials. But the question is, will we see a bare-bones Land Cruiser FJ with no touchscreen? That's what the design in the magazine shows. But would that really work here in North America? But they could do it just to make headlines. A modern SUV without a touchscreen? And being this simple would surely attract a lot of attention. But does Toyota need that attention? I mean, they already have the world hanging by their ropes. But now, as promised, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Price, release date, and competition. Well, as of last fall, they said it would be out by the end of this year and nothing has changed since then. The company will report their lineup in November, so maybe we'll see it by then? But there are some sources that claim that they might announce this vehicle this summer. But I know most of you watching are dying to know if they will announce it for North America at the same time. To be honest, that's tough to say. Toyota is trying to reveal its vehicles simultaneously for different markets, so they might do something similar for this SUV, and it might have different engines for different regions. So who knows for sure, we'll have to wait and see. And get ready for a surprise because according to the Japanese magazine Best Car, the starting price is going to be between 3 million and 3.8 million yen, which is roughly $20,000 to $25,500. Some of you might be thinking that this is just being too optimistic, and there is some truth to that, because even if the starting price is affordable, we all know how much dealerships will add. We just have to look at what is happening to the Maverick. In fact, they have the same starting price. So we expect a higher price for this vehicle, in the best case, starting at $30,000 here in the US and going up to $40,000. That's where the Forerunner begins. The Forerunner goes from $40,000 to $55,000, but that's where the J250 kicks in and that reaches up to $70,000 or so. So you have three different levels of SUVs priced very closely. That is why some are saying that $30,000 to $40,000 is the sweet spot here in the US for this baby Land Cruiser. And if they can pull that off, if they nail that price range, it's going to be off the charts. People will be lining up around the block for this beauty. But remember, Toyota has already slashed the price of the 250 series by almost $20,000. They went for affordability more than anything else, so it could be the same here. And this is why Toyota keeps making headlines. They know what people want and they deliver. But let's say that you don't want to buy or wait for the new Mini or FJ Land Cruiser, then Toyota already has your back. You can go for the RAV4. It is such a good SUV. I mean, its reputation is enough to speak for itself. But more than that, Toyota has just released a new model and, to be honest, they've outdone themselves now. It has a whole new design concept and incredible engine options that deliver such tremendous power that you have no other option but to love it. And we're not saying this because of all the hype. We've actually made a video about it, so if you want to know more, then check out our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.